Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And today we have a Mice Chat Reader or Mice Chat Construction Update, basically a Disneyland construction update. Courtesy of Mice Chat and their Disneyland update, there's a whole host of picket aerial photos that um, I didn't get in their Mice Chat article. Um, I only grabbed some of them. One of the are the most important ones, but they're definitely go check out the Mice Chat Monday Disneyland update. There's a whole host of Disney news in there that is not just construction updates. So let's look at what's going on in the main hub. As you can see, the pathway projects are finishing up. The Frontierland Bridge is just about done as well, the bri bridge writing project. But one interesting thing to note is the hub, the uh, the other gardens in the hub are drained. They're just dirt right now. They're being replanted in preparation for the park's reopening coming soon, hopefully. Uh, more on that in a little bit. But lastly, around the hub, there's some more pathway projects for the um, the Frontierland Bridge pro Riding Project. Projects are finishing up, and um, we have some even more cool news <laughs> on the other side of the hub. That's the that's the Marland Rocks are finally finally gone the last remaining rocks are finally gone so hopefully they'll continue with that the vision their entryway project and hopefully that will resume as it looks like it already has it you can see all the rubble by the astral orbiter right there and the um the the mechanical stuff the mechanical small mechanical building is still behind those construction walls that is for the astral orbiter, but the rest, last of the French fry ro rocks are gone, which is awesome. And hopefully, we'll see more uh, again progress on that project soon. Even the grass looks like a little looks like it could be replaced as it's, uh, <laughs> looks a little um, brown, as you can see that grass not as green and lush as it usually is. So that'll be part of probably the whole new project over there. Moving on to Fantasyland, we have the most progress we've seen on any of the Fantasyland projects, and months um starting off with snow white the scaffolds are finally off in the brand new color scheme it's a much lighter brighter tone as you can see that is now unveiled to us the construction walls are still out so the refurb is still going on but it looks like it's definitely wrapping up and should be just about done hopefully by the time the park opens the carousel might be closed when the park opens but they're definitely working on it they moved up the the scaffolds so they can access the attraction and hopefully they'll be placing all the horses and animals back on their poles um, after a very extensive refurbishment. Moving over to the Rivers of America, we have the Phantasmic. That's right, Phantasmic is testing. The fountains are testing right now and even in the top right corner, you can see the scaffolds are still there for the Haunted Mansion, which we'll get a close look in this next picture. But um, that hopefully can reopen with the park, but I'm not entirely sure if it will be able to at this rate, just based on what we have seen with these pictures. But Fantasmic is testing, and later on you'll see the World of Color also testing. But yes, here's a close look at the Haunted Mansion. Not shrouded in trees, and you see the massive show building behind the trees, but the actual mansion itself has lots of trucks around, or lots of trucks in the courtyard as well as lots of scaffolding on the mountain itself and Splash Mountain is just sitting pretty. No scaffolds there. It's supposed to be open with the park and that conversion is not supposed to happen really until 2022. So you should be able to ride Splash Mountain for at least another couple of years. Moving on to Toontown. Gadget Go Coaster was relisted or listed on the refurb um, calendar for a long time and it's, it's glad to see that they are refurbing that looks like also part of Mickey's house is under refurbishment. But lots of trucks on the the cul de sac of Toontown with the work going on in the Gadget Go Coaster. Hopefully that will reopen up with the park as well. Doesn't look like too extensive too much of extensive work. <laughs> um I actually can't even see what's being done besides the trucks there. So maybe just some key work or maybe some track work. Um or maybe even just some painting. Moving on to the big project at Disneyland Park and the biggest project, of course, in Toontown, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. So I, when I was at Downtown Disney last weekend, I was actually I saw this going on the freeway, and 
I saw it too late. I was gonna. I wanted to pull over and stop at the. There's a local. There's kind of a parking lot. I can park and walk to the overpass to get an update for you. And next time I go to downtown Disney, I'll definitely do that. But I'm glad we got one here. So I saw. Yes, this is how basically it currently looks. Currently looks. There's um lots of uh, steel going up just on this north side of the project. I think it's the north side. But in the next coming weeks, steel should be going surrounding the entire project. As when usually when a product project goes vertical, then Steel gets erected, it really, really speeds up because the hard work is the pre the foundation and the site prep. When you get the steel work going, then it gets um really, really quickly. And then you just looks like it's about two to three floors in this building, which is pretty impressive, pretty tall building. And uh, they should start uh, seeing that increase in the weeks to come. Moving over to Disney California Adventure Park. We have Avengers Campus, of course. Haven't gotten Avengers Campus up in a while, and look, the Quinjet is sitting tall and pretty. Can't really see it now. Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of blocking it. But the pathways have been mostly poured by uh, the Spider-Man gift shop and Web Slinger's attraction. The hub of the land is still dirt, but it's not a mound of dirt, or it's not, like, messy dirt. It's very flat, graded dirt. So it looks like... Um, I believe cement could be poured there any any second of or any day now. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was poured some of it at least this week. Here's another view of a uh, adventure campus. You see the Pim um, Pim Foods looks like it got some a paint job a little bit. I think on its side it looks a little darker, um, at least on the side closest to Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy is sitting pretty, and the Quinjet of course here's a better look at it. It's Sitting right there next to its home with Guardians of the Galaxy and the Avengers Tower, right there, Avengers Building, which probably will be built behind there. Here's a yet another look from another <laughs> angle of Avengers Campus. And there's just, um, again, the massive crane something working on this. Looks like the roof of the Spider Man uh, attraction. Maybe it's something for that animatronic or, or stunt tronic stunt show. But um, the rest of the land is looking pretty good. Doctor Strange, hard to see over there, but Doctor Strange is looking um, like nearly complete. Moving over to the back of Avengers Campus, we have the administrative building, which is finally, finally, finally um, all fleshed out. The scaffolds are back from the side, looks just about ready to go from the um, cast member side, uh, from the backstage side. But from the Tarzan side, it looks like the theming is still happening. And uh, the scaffolds are still up, but theming, the cars and theming to Luigi's should be complete momentarily. And our last picture is just a beautiful, beautiful overshot of Disney California Adventure, or really Pixar Perry area. But this is also to show, uh, one, the gondolas are still off from, or some of the gondolas are still off from the Pixar Pal around. And um, they should be, re the property's getting repainted, they should be back relatively soon in the next coming days or weeks and world of color is testing again disney is going to obviously pause the nighttime shows and any type of shows but it's good to see that they're testing because it would be awesome to have those shows even to watch them socially distance sooner rather than later but that is it for this massive disneyland resort construction update thank you my shout and thank you to your aerial your super secret aerial photographer who gets these photos every couple of weeks if you like this update definitely subscribe to the channel like the video because there'll be plenty more coming up there'll be an awesome velosco velosco update coming tomorrow that you'll have you'll get to see plenty plenty of more raptors that they added um thanks to bio reconstructs aerial photos so definitely go check those out thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing and supporting me we're almost at 800 that's super exciting and hopefully our theme parks will be open here in California pretty soon. Potentially maybe in an even announcement from Newsom on Wednesday. We'll have to look at that. We'll have to, um, you know, look at that very closely. But other than that, have a great, fantastic day.